Uh, last time we played, we adopted a child. And now, we're gonna continue on to chapter. Hold on. Do I, do I hit, do I hit this? Does it gonna continue? It's not gonna randomly. Okay, cool. Oh, I was like, wait a minute. Did I lose progress somehow? But no. Okay, this is how we, this is how we progress. Let's steamroll right into episode two. I tend to call them chapters. They're technically episodes, but yeah. Anyway, let's go. Um... Oh, and Larry's an asshole. That's an important, um, what do I want to call that? Recap. Just a friendly reminder. We adopted an adorable child, and Larry's an asshole. Uh-oh. This game is already suffering. I don't... Oh, cool. We get a nice recap from here, too. I know who you are. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug. You got it, boss. <laughs> that was an awkward cutaway. We reason with him. The bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch your ass. Yeah. I think I summed it up pretty well. <laughs> Ready for my choices to 20% matter what happens in the story? <laughs> hey look, it's a new season. Isn't that nice? Three months later. Oh! Okay. Hell yeah, Lee. Oh. Damn. What'd they get this time? Hello, Looks guy. Like don't know. <sighs> well, that's another meal lost. <sighs> I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. Yeah, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark. I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. Last night, I heard your friend Doug laying in bed just naming types of pie. It was driving me nuts. I think he's starting to lose it. He's not the only one. Why don't you cut him some slack? Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. You'll have to ask Lily. She's the one handling the rations. Or mishandling it, if you ask Kenny. He's just worried about his kid getting enough. I worry about Clementine, too. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? Of course, Lily had to be in charge of something. Yeah, she can't ever be in charge of anything. That's not an option. Things are getting pretty tense back at the motor inn. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. got a wife and son to look out for and they're safest in a big group going out on his own will get them all killed can't blame him though did you hear larry going off on him last night what's the old guy's deal anyway seems like he's got a problem with you in particular we don't talk about that though he thinks i'm a danger to the group and clementine i think he's the one putting us in danger the way Lily worries about his health, 
I wouldn't be surprised if she's been skimming rations for him. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Uh, knock me flat. Yeah, that was fun. It just really came out of left field, which uh, was not appreciated. It's a long shot. I'd hate to waste the bullets. Trust me, if I don't think I can hit it, I won't shoot. Is that Kenny? I don't know. Come on. Ah! Oh, this kid. Oh, it's multiple. Oh, right. Oh. Thank Jesus you. Jesus Christ. Oh shit. No, no. Please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher. We'll leave, I swear. Lee, you guys okay? Get, get it off. Get it off. God damn it. Get, get it off me. Travis, maybe they can help. These might be the same guys that raided our camp. And we barely got away from that. What guys? Why the fuck is there a bear trap out here? It's okay. We're not gonna hurt you. Don't listen. Lee, just let us go. We're not a threat to you. Get Try to help you, but you gotta shut the fuck up. Please. Kenny's got a point. Please. Ben, shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Just see if you can. Doesn't mean you know what you're doing. After that you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. Was he bitten? Bitten? No, I swear. Hurry, please. Hurry. Um, yeah, sure. I can help with that. Oh, no. <sighs> Shit. Walkers. It's now or never leave. Please. Get me out of this. Mark, get the By back. any means necessary? Jimmy, keep those walkers off of me. There has to be a way out of this. Ah. Ah. Not stop, stop. Sleep. Do something. Um, okay, um, I think we gotta do it this way. Um, okay. Sir, you need to not move. That's what I'm- What do you think I'm doing, Kenny? Or whoever that is I'm talking to. Sorry, I don't think that was Kenny, actually. That wasn't his color. I think it was the other guy. Yeah. Cut David free! Alright, you gotta tourniquet that leg. And get the fuck out of there. I think they turn it. I think it was already. I think that belt was already there before the scene. Come on, come on, we gotta move. Travis, I thought you knew what you were doing. So much for knowing what you were doing. Sorry, give me two seconds. Okay. I already gave you a treat. You're fine. <laughs> Zoe, uh, bitch, not right now. I like the lifeguard chair. Um,
Those are the uh, pick three. Oh, okay. I see what you mean. Okay. Um. Get the gates open. We've got wounded. Shit. What the hell are they doing? Come on. Come on. Um. I'd say what the herb po pork hey, roast. Are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Um, can you fix him? Jesus, Ken. Lee. I, I don't know. Lee. What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. Pizza, meatloaf can cups. Calm down for a fucking hey, minute. No, I don't. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. He would have died if we left him. So what? We are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group, right here, right now. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine, you guys fight it out. Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. But what? No, I... Just come on, okay? You know, you like <laughs> Clementine's just like, nope. Goddamn decisions. This is Sorry, Jack, hold on. Give me two... Let me get this part done. Hey, I didn't ask to leave this group. Wait, what's Everyone the third one? Me to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around. But now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. Kenny's right. Yeah, you're in charge of the food and the schedules, but you're not in charge of people's lives. Really? You weren't there. Oh, we that was the other one I was going to say, so... <laughs> that works. Look, once Katja patches that guy up, you can kick him out of here. Send him out on their own. I couldn't care less. But they at least deserve a fighting chance against the walkers. And for the record, Kenny wanted to leave those people behind. If Kenny would pull his head out of his ass for five seconds, he'd realize that I make these decisions to protect his family. We simply don't have enough food. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? Uh, I saw the way you smiled after your dad said that. Don't lie. And don't you be rude to Doug. Doug did nothing wrong. Such a shitty job, then you do it. That's all the food we have for today. You decide who gets to eat. Flip. No, I'm serious. Pick up that food and start handing it out. You see how it feels to not have enough food for everyone. Four food items for ten hungry people. Damn. Damn, this game really... Hard balling you the... Right at the beginning of this episode, uh, episode yeah. We'll talk with Katja. Is he gonna be okay? I don't know. Can you give me a hand real quick? Sure. What do you need? Just apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this. Sewing up people's injuries. But I mean, cuts and bruises are one thing, but Flynn, this man has no leg. I did the right thing. Yeah, I know you did. <laughs> the right thing is just scary sometimes, I guess. I mean, he has a leg. You've done all you can, Lee. Thanks for the help. Go ahead and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. All right. Who else wants to have it? I wonder, is, I guess Glenn's still gone. No. Oh. Leave it to Doug to rig up a warning system out of garbage. <laughs> hey, Doug. <clears throat> What's up, Lee? What are you working on, Doug? 
I've worked up a little warning system for outside. How does it work? I set up trip lines at four locations, and each one triggers one of these four belts. So... So we'll know where they are and how long we have. Smart. Told you Doug would be smart. Better than a woman who doesn't know how to fucking put in batteries in the radio. <laughs> Think Katja can save that guy? Maybe. I mean, I know about computers, but that doesn't mean I can fix a calculator. But you probably could fix a calculator. Oh, well, yeah. Good point. <laughs> Take it easy, uh... You too, Lee. The only people I know for sure who I think should get food is the kids. That's the only... Hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Oh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. Oh, my word. Hey, you holding up okay, Lee? I was pretty fucked up back there. Having to cut that guy's leg off. Yeah. I just hope Katja can save him. You ever miss the Air Force Base? I mean, this wall isn't exactly military standard. No way I'm going back there. You saw what it was like when you guys picked me up. Completely overrun. Lily's pretty pissed at us. Listen, I know her intentions are good, but... But nothing! She's making the smart choice. Those parasites you guys brought back need to go. I think we said we could just patch them up and nope. go. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. Here, this should help. Try not to make too much noise. Yeah, yeah, we're not stupid. Come on, Larry, give it a rest. I'm sure Lee is getting pretty sick of you thinking he's a danger to the group. Is that what you told him? Yeah, that's right. And what are you going to do about it? Look, I don't care what it is, but you two have got to start trying to get along. <laughs> the only thing I have to do is protect my daughter. And right now, that means getting this damn wall fixed. So I would appreciate it if you two would shut up and let me get back to work. I don't know how an axe fixes a wall, but sure. <sighs> You've got to talk to Lily about getting along with Kenny. Lily can make her own friends. It's not about making friends. We're all in this together. We gotta start acting like it. Uh, stuff all that. We'd be fine without you. Um, I'm the main character. Main character law dictates otherwise. Larry thinks we should throw these new people out. Damn right. There's too many people hanging around here as it is. Keep up on that fence. Don't tell me what to do, Lee. I know I can't make it like a popularity contest of who gets food. Um, At least the kids have something to keep them occupied. But also, I can't really make it like a, hey, I need you to not hate me. Here's food. Like, I don't know. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, mm. friend. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. Um. How you doing, Duck? I'm okay. Me and Simon turned a coloring. Guess what it is? I don't know. A dog? <laughs> nope. Oh, I know. It's a goat, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> you were pretty brave when we brought those people in here. That's because I know Mom can fix him. Catch you later, Duck. Bye, Lee. That thing doesn't work anymore, does it? No, not since it broke at the drugstore. Just gonna hold on to it then? Yeah, if that's okay. 
I, um, I need it. Mm. That makes her feel better. I know, I did. And until then... Look, uh, Clementine. I'm not stupid, Lee. I know it's just pretend. Oh. Oh. Okay. You take good care of it then. I will. The fact that she's like, I know it's pretend, so but right? I just want it. Yeah. Is that man going to be okay? I think he'll be fine. Oh, that's good. I'm so hungry, Lee. I hope I get to eat soon. I'm working on it, boo-boo. I just want to talk with everyone first. Hey, is my friend going to make it? I don't know, but Kaja will do her best. I promise. I can't believe you chopped off his leg. There was no other way. So who are you people? Our group's going to want to know. I'm Ben. Ben Paul. The man you saved is Mr. Parker, the band director at my school. We all came down from Stone Mountain for the playoffs when... When everything happened. How you holding up, kid? Uh, well, I, um... Uh, I keep wondering if I could have done something to help, you know? Some kind of... I don't know. Something. I'm sure you did all you could. Yeah, maybe. Eh, uh, pretty well, typical teen we'll shit. friend back to normal in no time. I sure hope so. Maybe we should think about leaving the motel. God, not you too. I know Kenny wants to leave. I think that's why he's so eager to get the RV working. But this is a good spot. We're protected, we're close to the drugstore, we have a routine now and it's working. But, but the routine ain't gonna work for forever boo boo we should talk about you and kenny what about us they're arguing it's getting pretty out of hand you know people notice that look i'm working my ass off to make sure we have a good setup here and kenny just doesn't appreciate that all we need is food but there is no food you know that better than anyone well we'll just have to find some keep an eye out fine I think I just sort of have to get smart about who gets it at this point. I don't know. Word's getting out that you want to leave the motor in. That ain't no secret, Lee. It's probably our best bet. Look, you've been good to me and my family. You saved Duck from those monsters. And you stood up to Larry at the drugstore. I won't forget that. You and Clem are welcome to come with us. Mm, I don't think we should stay either, though. Coast does sound like a smart idea. Maybe that is the best thing. I know that it is. I'm taking my family. I did tell Kenny it was a good idea. Thank you for letting me know, game. Okay, so I have to start distributing the food. Um, so kids absolutely get it. I know some people will be like, more, more, more. But, like, listen, kids get first dibs, I believe. Hey, Doc, how about a little food? Because they need more to keep going. Um, oh my gosh. Look at that adorable face. Uh, give him crackers and cheese. Here. Yeah. Oh man, I'm so hungry. Alright, Clementine. Hey, Clem. You need something to eat. Crackers and cheese. Okay, a Sunday would be better next time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. Sure, if that's an option. Um, I'm thinking maybe. I think. Who was it? Uh, this guy was mentioning he was starting to get weak. So him, and maybe Larry, because of his heart. I mean, I hate Larry. Don't get me wrong. I, I don't suddenly like Larry. That's not happening. I'm just thinking... Br what's going to be best long term? So... 
Let me see. What were my options again? Here, eat something. Let's give him the apple. You got your apple. Wow. Thanks a lot. That's that's awesome. No. Someone else. Uh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. I'm gonna give it to Larry. <sighs> Here, Larry. Lily would want you to keep your strength up. I should shove this up your ass, but I'm too hungry. Oh, wow. I can smell that food over here. I hope you're enjoying that, Larry. Oh, <laughs> I am. Yep. I made my tough... Oh, they're just frozen in place. There. I made the tough choices. Not such an easy job, is it? I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Doug, there is no reason to glare at me. I love you. I ran out of food before. Hey, it was a tough choice, but you took care of the kids. That's what a real man does. Yeah, Kenny understands. To come with us. You've more than earned a ride on the RV with me. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. Oh yeah. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... Let him go, Captain. But... He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. That man you brought, I tried. But he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. What about the other kid? <gasps> wow, I love how they like give you a oh I love how they give you a choice, but then it like doesn't even matter because shit's happening. Oh, what was I Oh. I'm like, what the fuck am I supposed to do here? Oh, okay, backing up, backing up, backing up, backing up, backing up. Oh, wait! Did I not back up fast enough? What happened? You are dead. Yeah, I can see that game. What? Okay, I guess I just didn't back up fast enough. Okay. Okay, there we go. It's not as easy as you think, sir. Asshole. Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed. Conversation killer. That's an she appropriate. Was he wasn't bitten. What? We asked you point blank, was he bitten, and you said no. He wasn't. Well, your not bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife. What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. We're all infected? Everyone? I, I guess so. I don't know. I, all I know is that I've seen people turn who I know were never bitten. 